It looks like chewing gum or modeling clay, but it isn't. This is where the finest oil paint is created. 500 years ago, artists like Rembrandt made it by hand. The old Holland paint factory in the Netherlands makes oil paints according to old recipes and has an extensive archive of historical color pigments. Hi, I'm Paul Bollock. I'm an artist myself and I'm very interested in the history of pigments. So, you're here now in this factory. Let me take you around. Many color pigments come from stones which are ground very finely. Ultramarine blue, for example, is extracted from lapis lazuli and is the most expensive color in the world. This is the malachite stone used by Rembrandt to make his greens. Then they took a certain amount of the pigment. The pupil who had to learn the trade so how much oil does a certain pigment need? First of all, with this bone pellet knife, they wetten the pigment roughly. They had to grind it. That's just to make sure that every particle of the pigment is surrounded by the linseed oil. And they did it in this form the eight. This is the way the paint was made in the time of Rembrandt. So when the paint was prepared in certain amounts, they had to put it somewhere and they used dried pig's bladder, a little rope around it. To tighten it, they put the paint into the pig's bladder and a little nail in the bottom. If they wanted to use the same paint, they took out the nail and squeezed a little bit and the paint is rolling out. So, I will tell you a, a few stories about uh, some pigments. What we've got here is the color uh, Indian yellow. It's a very nice transparent color. Um, it was made in India and uh, the cows over there were fed with mango leaves. A lot of mango leaves, more mango leaves. And then they had to pee, of course, and the pee was, ca uh, was, was, was kept in a straw. And then they made balls out of it, dried it a little bit. You can still smell the urine of these cows. <laughs> Here we still have uh, the ivory uh, black made from the teeth from elephants and burned and then it becomes black of course. Um, we don't do that of course anymore. Nowadays bone black is still made. They use the bones that they get from the slaughterhouses. <laughs> So, the last little story I will tell you uh, about the pigment is the story about lead white. You've got a lead plate, like this, you roll it up, then you put vinegar on the bottom, you put all these pots on shelves, and then you cover it all up with horse shit. The lead is crushed into the pigment lead white. Today, production is carried out with modern technology, but the centuries-old recipes and their fascination remain unchanged. So if I see this, uh, this paint coming out of these walls, almost ready to use, there's this one big need, I feel, get painting. 